Hi everyone and welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're going to talk about pathogen replication inside macrophages. First, let's make sure that you understand what macrophages are. They are cells that are part of the immune system and they have a lot of very important functions as part of the immune system. For example, they're known for phagocytosis. I have another video on the steps of phagocytosis if you wanna check that one out. Phagocytosis is the, the process shown right here where a macrophage engulfs a bacterium and then ends up using a, an organelle called a lysosome that's full of basically digestive enzymes and sort of an acidic compartment, merges that with the vesicle called the phagosome that brought the bacterium in, digests that bacterium, and then expels sort of the leftovers at the end. So this is one way that the immune system can fight pathogens. Um, so macrophages do this. They also produce cytokines and chemokines. These are basically just chemicals that cause various immune system cells to be activated or help them to get from one place to another. So those are some pretty important functions. And then also macrophages do a process called antigen presentation which is where they take a few of the leftover bits of a chewed up microbe and actually present them on the surface of the cell to help activate other immune system cells. So very important. And you might be asking yourself, if these macrophages are so important to fighting bacteria and clearing the body of an infection, why are pathogens replicating inside them? That's a good question. First, let's talk about what kind of pathogens can do this. There are some bacteria, in particular, these are all intracellular bacteria, meaning that they're pathogens that enter host cells and replicate inside host cells instead of replicating inside the body but outside of cells. Those would be extracellular bacteria. So these are intracellular bacteria, and some of them actually preferentially replicate inside macrophages. Preferentially, is the key term here because it's not just that they um, replicate inside a cell but they prefer to replicate inside macrophages versus other types of cells which is um, maybe a little counterintuitive some of the bacteria that do this are things like listeria salmonella mycobacterium legionella these cause things like food poisoning and tuberculosis and legionnaires disease so some pretty um, important pathogens and there are also some viruses that replicate inside macrophages. These would include HIV and influenza, although macrophages are not necessarily their preferred um, cell to replicate in, but they certainly um, can do it. So now let's talk about the mechanisms. How are they replicating inside a macrophage? And there's a few different possibilities. One is this right here, use of a secretion system to manipulate cell activities to create a favorable compartment. That just means using um, some gene products, some proteins that they can make to manipulate cell activities to alter this process to create a favorable environment to replicate in. So for example, some bacteria can actually prevent this process right here from happening. So the lysosome and the phagosome never merge. And remember that the lysosome is full of digestive enzymes and it's also a fairly acidic compartment. And so when it merges, those, those things break down the bacterium. But if the bacterium prevents this from happening, prevents the lysosome from being able to merge with the phagosome, well then this bacterium can just replicate inside the phagosome, which is a, a friendly place for it to do it if there's no lysosome that can come along. Another possible mechanism is use of either a secretion system or a pore forming toxin, a toxin that's going to create some pores in a, in a membrane to escape from the phagosome. So that means that um, a, a bacterium that does that would use a secretion system or, or pore forming toxins to poke holes in the phagosome membrane so that it can escape the phagosome and then just um, replicate in the cytosol. So that's another possible uh, mechanism for pathogen replication inside a macrophage. 
Now, we still haven't talked about why. Why do they wanna do this, right? This is a dangerous cell. This is a cell that is made to kill these pathogens, to, to completely digest them and chew them up and spit them out. So why are they preferring to do it? Well, scientists have a few ideas. One is that, well, if they're going to be phagocytosed anyway, they might as well evolve a way to deal with it. And what that means is these macrophages are so good at recognizing um, some of these pathogens, especially these intercellular bacteria, that it's likely that if they get into the body, that they're going to wind up inside a macrophage anyway. And so, evolutionarily speaking, if they're going to end up inside a macrophage anyway, it would make sense that over many, many generations, they would adapt ways to, um, to deal with that and to still be able to infect the cell. Another possibility is that macrophages are just easy to enter. I mean, these pseudopods right here, or pseudopodia, are these sort of feet-like projections, um, almost like little fingers, that will engulf anything foreign. It's so easy to get inside that as long as the pathogen can then find a way to divert these activities so that it can still replicate, then you know it's good to go. So that's another possibility. Another reason why it might be beneficial to replicate inside macrophages is that macrophages are typically very long-lived. They live a long time in the body, which gives a, a stable replication niche for these pathogens. And also macrophages move around a lot. They are responsible for traveling through the bloodstream to get um, to different points of infection. And so since they're moving around the body so much, a pathogen that gets into a macrophage kind of can ride the bus all around the city, as it were. They can um, use the macrophage to travel anywhere else in the body. Um, and so scientists think that these, these three sort of reasons um, explain why some of these bacteria want to replicate inside a cell that is otherwise designed to kill them. And so I think this is a really fascinating subject. If you're interested in some other related subjects, things like um, binary fission and bacterial growth, or looking at the steps of phagocytosis in more detail, um, or other parts of the immune system like um, antibody structure and function, then I've got videos on all of those topics. And I encourage you to check them out. And thanks for watching today.